Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I give all praise and honor unto the Most High. Yah Elohim have done a lot for us. We have to give him glory. We have to give him honor. We have to praise his holy name. We have to glorify him and praise him. All the worship and honor belongs to the Most High. I greet you in the name of Yah Elohim. I praise his holy name because he have done a lot for us. Shalom, shalom. Everyone, shalom. I want to welcome everyone to the West Africa Hebrew Israelites, the hidden identity. Thanks so much for joining me to today's teachings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Maybe today is the first time you subscribe to our channel or you came across our channel. Our channel is about the West African. We are the Hebrew Israelites. This is a message the Most High said. Yah Elohim said, we are the Hebrew is Israelites and our identity is hidden. So each and every week or any time that he will give me a message, then I will come and share and teach. And trust me, these messages are blessing me. It's helping me to draw near, closer to him each and every day. It's not my will, but it's the will of the Aruha. As I lean on him, as I crunch on him, as I, I, like I, I run towards his feet and what embrace his message. The blessing of the Lord, Yah, is upon me all the time. And as we do that, as we study, as we search and seek Him, trust me, your life will never be the same. Thank you so much, each and every one that subscribed to our channel, the new subscribers. Thank you. Please, please, please share our videos and subscribe to our channel. This is the only way that the message will spread abroad. We need to spread the message of we being the Hebrew Israelites. We need to spread it. Of time and time, Hebrew Israelites, we, we don't like helping others, um, like our fellow um, Hebrew Israelites. But if it, it will be the uh, heathens or the atheists or the Gentiles, it will be easy for them to spread. We don't like spreading the message of our own people. The message is not about me or anyone, but the message is about Yah Elohim. He is the one who sent me and he is the one who wants us to deliver the message to others for them to hear. And these messages will bless each and every one. Trust me, your life will never be the same. We are not claiming to be Hebrew Israelites because of what we want to follow, what others are doing, or because we want something we want to claim citizen of uh, Israel to go there. No, we are not claiming to be Israelites because of those things. The, being Hebrew Israelites is in us. It's in our DNA. It's embedded in us. Nothing can change. No one can take these things from us. And when you go to Africa or you search the map of Africa, you can see Hebrews names. Ask yourself, if these people are not Hebrew Israelites, where did they get all these names from? Where did they get all these names from? It's just a question that I'm throwing out there. We need to search these things and believe anything that one will tell us. As we believe, we need to do research and that will help us all. Straight to the point, I have a map on the screen and this map is two maps putting it together. The first one have arrow, white arrow on the top circle. I hope you can see it clearly. It's kind of blare, but forgive me. This the closest one or the better one that I got. Um, come and show you guys it said the um the desert of um sarah uh, sarah sarah desert but instead of s it says z sarah desert and this sarah desert or the sarah means like sarah you can google it or you can um uh, like check it and see it means sarah like our grandfather uh our grandmother named sarah or sarah it's in the bible and the meaning of this Sarah means the um, bright. In the Hebrew, it says uh, shine bright. Shine bright. That is the meaning of that Sarah. Bright shine or shine bright. Then I'll bring another one for us to see. Then I'll go more into details of this. 
this is the next one on this uh the screen but this one is sarah sarah so uh sahara desert or sarah desert no matter how you pronounce it the same the same thing and when you go to the straight to the bible the book of genesis will i will put it uh, for you to read and see but be uh the name being sarah or sahara why did these people have to find a, a torah or a bible for them to pick sarah name and put it there and name this area this territory that this land particular area that this area is uh sahara desert or sarah desert except they are one particular people they are the descendants of what uh abraham that's only thing or they are the hebrew israelites you can see the north of africa is the sahara desert they didn't put the sahara desert there but in between that means these people sojourned from um, israel which is east of africa is uh, northeast of africa and came west and have this territory named sahara desert we tend to say sahara desert but no one have clue the meaning of the name or just think about it twice because we are deceived for, um, from the westerners everything when you come to about abraham sarah and all that is about white so no one have mindset that well, let me check why did they have this name in africa no one have idea or no one is bothered to what search and find out the true meaning of this name or why did they have the name there if you ask me it's, it's about one thing it's about the hebrew israelites they left the land of Israel and came west. And this is their history. If you are fam you are not familiar with our teachings, time and time I tend to repeat these things that um, our forefathers always, always, when they face persecution, they have to run. They don't go to east, they go to west. So west is West Africa. That is the only way they can go easy because it's no man's land. No man dwell there that time. So they went straight to west africa okay let's move i have um this on the screen genesis chapter 20 uh, genesis chapter 17 sorry 15 through 16 15 then god Elo um, elohim said unto abraham as for sarah your wife you are no longer to call her sarah but uh, sarah her name will be sarah I will what bless her and she I will bless and will surely give her give her give you a son by her. I will bless her so that she will be the mother of nations. Kings of people will come from her. Let me read it that one slow. It's so unique. So changing her name from uh, Sarah to Sa uh, Sarah to Sarah. I mean, it's almost the same pronunciation. Why do God have to do that? He He did that for a purpose. Elohim did that for a purpose. First, your name is like a princess, or um, it, just, it doesn't have title, but Elohim add title to it because her descendants will come from what a king and a kings of people and what. And nations and the kings of people. And that, that's us. Elohim chose us to be what? Priesthood unto him to be minister. And we have kings. Even our Lord um, Yeshua Mashiach came from the tribe of Judah. The tribe of uh, David. Uh, David or Judah. So for Elohim to promise our grandmother this is not something strange. Because her descendants will be unique that's us that's all that i can i can say about uh, genesis chapter 17 15 to uh, 15 and 16. let's move on um today we'll base our teachings i'm done with the sarah thing it's just something introduction that i brought uh quick for us to see these things or for us to know the truth about us especially like north to the west africa or the land back in the days are hebrew names yeah they try to wipe all the names out changing it here and there through our leaders but so we know we can find it we know our names but our our traditional names still are there and all the names are hebrew names if i have to mention my name my name is in the bible it will repeat more than three times in the bible you can see this in the kings and kings uh then you go uh 
all of, all of, all the way down to <laughs> Ezekiel. You can see my name there, but I'm not going to tell you my name anyway. Just by the way. Okay, so straight, we'll go. Our teachings will base on um, Seneca, 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 Seneca in West Africa, Seneca. So let me put a map there first, then I'll talk about Seneca. I have a map of Seneca on the screen right now. Seneca in the capital is Dhaka. So I'll leave the Dakar, then I'll go um, the circle, uh, blue circle with the arrow, uh, Matam. Matam, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Matam. This word is a Hebrew word. It's a Hebrew name, whether it's a meat or food, it's a Hebrew word. So I want to bring this across. There's a whole lot of Hebrew names in like Africa, West Africa, Senegal, a whole lot. But I brought only these two for now. So if these people are not the Hebrew Israelites, why did they have Hebrew names? Why did they have Hebrews name? Even for now, majority of them Senegal, if I'm right, they are Muslims, but so they do have their Hebrew names there. If these people are not the Hebrews, then why did they have these names? So let's move on. Now I'll go straight to the Senegal, um, Dakar. Sorry, the Senegal is the uh, country. Dhaka is the capital. It's D uh, A K A R. Dhaka. Then uh, you can see red circle with the arrow. This word Dhaka is in the Bible, and sometimes the words, uh, the spelling changes, but the pronunciation is the same thing because these people at Senegal are colonized by the French. So maybe that is the reason why the spelling change. I don't know, but it's the same thing. We'll go straight to the book of um, First Kings chapter 4. You see this name there. First Kings chapter 4. We'll read 9. Fur in Mount Ephraim, the son of Dakar in Makaz, and in Shalbim, and in Beth Shemesh, and Elon Beth Anan, the son of his they said the son of Dakar, the spelling may be different, but the same thing. This is the son of um, the children of what? Uh, Hua. It's H U R Hua. People believe it's um, Miriam's husband, and he was close to uh, Moses and uh, Aaron those days. These are the uh, name of his sons. So Dakar, that you see now in, on the map like of Senegal, it's no coincidence that they just have it there. Whether they know it or not, and I believe a lot of people know that they are Hebrew Israelites. This is the name. There's no way you will tell me this coincidence. No. This tell me and this proof that Hebrew Israelites in West Africa or the land of West Africa are full of Hebrew Israelites. That, I mean, this is the name that I can bring to confirm that these people, Dakar, that is the capital, are uh, the Hebrew Israelites land. I have another map, it's just the same Senegal on the screen. And this one have two circles like the other one. The first one is uh, Bene Israel. That is a red arrow with a circle on it. Bene Israel. And this group of people, they are close to uh, Mali area. The Bene Israel are a small group of people. And they believe that they are, their ancestors came from like Israel and dwell in Egypt, then they journey to Nigeria, uh, Chad, Mali, and to Senegal. And they have a tree, their forefathers planted a tree, and the name of their forefather then was Yakuba, like uh, Jacob Yakuba. He planted a tree, and they believe that area or the territory is the, what, uh, the glory tree or the glory land, the holy land of that area. These people are like let's say remote area in like Senegal. They are not claimed, claiming to be Hebrew Israelites to get anything. Trust me, to get anything. But they know who they are. They have a story. When they came to the land, the people, they have people already on the land. So they like lay low. They don't want to do something to what uh, annoying the, their neighbors that we are different from you guys. So they came and lay low. That's their story. Bene Israel. And they kept the name to this day i'll show you their pictures and i have another one is a jola 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 is a, a, a tribe of people a, a language or the people in this uh 
they are close to um, Gambia, uh, Gambia area, then um, Gabon or something area. You can see on the screen, Gambia. And the word Jola is a Hebrew name. It's a Hebrew girl, like name of girl. And when you go into details of the meaning of that Jola is like Jehovah. So it's Yahweh name, Jehovah. If these people are not Hebrew Israelites, trust me, there's no way they have these names. Africans or West Africans does not joke with their names. They don't joke with their names. None will trade their name for anything. You can call them poor. You can call them any ugly name that are out there. They don't care. They do not joke with their name. And naming is something that they pass on. They pass on. You will give it to your children. Your children will give it to their children. Especially the, uh, the male. Not the female. As it's in the Bible. We take names from our, our, our fathers. Your father will name you. Then when you marry, have your husband, they buy the, the boys or the men have their father's name and they pass on. So these people are Hebrew Israelites. So one of the tribe or one of the people that they are in Senegal that you can see uh, the Bene Israel, um, like sons of Israel. That is the meaning, sons of Israel. They carry the name. So sons of Israel, it doesn't mean they are like um, the descendants of Judah or the descendants of uh, Ruby or God sons of israel so they are more than one tribe i believe that is the, the reason why they have the sons of israel there the bene israel i have the picture of their screen you can see the village or the town people these people the sons of israel you can see them like uh, i don't know whether it's market day or trade day or i don't know what is going on but this is the picture that i have to show that these people are the hebrew israelites I have another map on the screen. You can see Bene Israel and they have the Star of David. I didn't do this, but I found, I found this on the internet to confirm that these people are the Hebrew Israelites. And Senegal is well known to the, uh, the people that these people are the Hebrew Israelites. I believe more people know their tribe that they are Hebrew Israelites, but they won't come out and say it because they don't see the point. But the point of Yah Elohim giving me the opportunity to share these messages. We have to come out from our closet and we have to come out what and embrace Yeshua Mashiach as our Lord and personal Savior. Very soon Yeshua is coming. The trumpet will sound. sound. Ask yourself, are you going to go with him or not? There is the one of the village. I think, I don't know whether they are, they are uh, on the screen whether the, the gate of the village or something. It's French. I can't read the French. But I can see D. Bene Israel. That one on the bottom, I can read it. Saint uh, D. Bene Israel. So the rest, I, I'm not good at the French. So I'll leave it. I see the glory, uh, I think glory uh, something. Saint uh, whatever. But I will leave it there. So there's, uh, I think, chief or the president of the village or something. And they have the tree there. I'm not sure there's the tree they talk about, but there's a little um, history that I can talk about them. So they are unique people, Hebrew Israelites on West Africa, the coast of West Africa, Senegal. Oh, wow. And here to, be, uh, to make the video short, just short thing, uh, video that I brought. I pray that this will enlighten you and it will bring the knowledge to you. You can search, you can do your own research. That helps. A lot. Do your own research. Yeshua, give me opportunity for me to come and share these messages. For one thing, ask to what embrace Him, receive Him as your Lord and personal Savior. You will be the Hebrew Israelites worshiping um, Yah Elohim, accepting Yeshua. It's not a wrong thing. Yeshua is a Hebrew Israelite, so He is the only door that we have to go through. We have to seek Him first. Seek Him first, and all other things shall be added unto you i am so grateful for everyone that watches my video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for sharing the videos may yahweh bless you and keep you in yeshua's name shalom and remember the lord elohim have a covenant with us we are covenant people the lord elohim have a covenant with us the covenant the covenant is about us and we have to keep that covenant Keep the Sabbath, read the Torah, keep the Ten Commandments, do everything that Yah uh, Elohim command our forefathers to do. Do it and you will see the blessing of Elohim in your life. 
Shalom, everyone. May the Lord Yahweh bless you and keep you. May the glory of our God Elohim be upon you and your family. Amen. Bye-bye.